Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show the application of GIS to delineate AutoShade using DEM. Before the starting of the tutorial, I want to give an idea regarding AutoShade. So let's begin. AutoShade is an area of land containing common hydrologic features that eventually flow into a single larger body of water, such as a river, lake, or ocean. Watershed is a natural hydrologic entity that encompasses a specific area, a stretch of land surface where from rainfall or runoff flows to a specific defined drain, such as channel, nala, small river, or stream. Now I want to share the concept of watershed. The process of delineation of watershed has a scientific and rational process. However, for presenting them as a unit for planning and deployment formulation of an appropriate framework of watershed is a prerequisite. Such framework shall not only follow a hierarchical system of delineating bigger hydrologic units into watershed, but also include a quantification system so that each watershed or units of intervention can be identified as an unique individual entity with clear identifiable linkage with higher hierarchical units. That is a basin, casement, subcasement, etc. Now I'll show you the tools and techniques used to delineate or shade using RCS 10.8. Alright, now I am going to start menu and open ArcMap 10.8 interface from RCS. Okay, this is the interface of ArcMap. Go to catalog menu, then connect to folder where you have kept your digital elevation model. I have been keep my DEM in order shape delineation folder. Then click on OK. This is my DEM drag and drop here now i am changing the color ram from here i am choosing this one and click on ok make sure that you have to follow an instruction provide a workflow to create a watershed modeling using the hydrology tool set from the special analysis tools and convert the model to watershed boundaries polygon at first you have to go catalog menu then toolboxes then system toolboxes go to system toolboxes then go to special analyze tools then click on hydrology click on plus sign of hydrology then click on field Basically, the fill tool fills the sinks to remove imperfection from the DM. Insert the DM, then save your R2 raster on your desired folder. And give the name here. Click on save, then click on OK. The process is ongoing. We have seen that the field tax completed over here. Now I am changing the color ram from here. Click on OK. Uncheck this one. Then again go to catalog menu and from hydrology tool click on flow direction input surface raster insert fill dm then in output flow direction raster i am saving this output flow direction raster on my desired folder as a name of 
फ्लोर डायरेक्शन तो डायरेक्शन एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके प्रोसेस इज ऑन गोइंग हियर ओके द प्रोसेस हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड ओवर हियर basically the follow direction tool determine the direction of follow from esl to its steepest down slope neighbor now go to again catalog menu and click on flow accommodation tools input flow direction raster over here this is the flow direction raster then output accumulation raster on your desired folder as a name of flow accumulation you will try to give the short name in here otherwise it may fail to complete the process click on save and click on okay okay flow accumulation has been completed over here i am changing the color ram from here again and i am giving this one and check other one okay i am giving this one now i have to create the basin area for creating a basin area go to catalog menu again go to hydrology and click on basin here you have seen that input flow direction raster insert input flow direction raster over here this is the flow direction raster and save the file in your desired folder as a name of basin flow and click on save after that click on okay the process is ongoing over here okay the process has been completed over here and you have seen that the basin flow raster file has been added over here go to catalog menu then click on conversion tools then from raster then raster to polygon run this tool to create polygon fuser from the basin raster input raster images basin flow then save the file on a desired folder as a name of raster basin click on save then ok the process has been completed over here notice that your main basin area have been created now I am choosing an area to create outer shade boundary. I am choosing this one. Okay, run the click fuser from the geofusion tools to create selected outer shade boundary. Go to geofusion. Click on clip then input filter insert raster basin and uh, select raster basin save this file on your desired folder as a name of raster basin clip
and click on save and click on ok the process is going on and the process has been completed over here and the raster basin clip added on the layer and uncheck this one raster basin and change the color over here okay this is the watershed area okay this is the boundary of watershed i am check my original dm and uncheck other layer okay then go to catalog menu then go to a special analysis tools then click on map algebra click on raster calculator after that click on row accommodation and click on this side now give the value here whatever you want as a trial value for checking the quantity of stream order i am giving here 500 and send the file as a name of raster calculator raster cal save then ok ok the process has been completed over here and notice that the steam order has been created now i am changing the color I am giving here null color, no color. Click on OK. And you have seen that this line has shown as a stream order. I am also changing this color. OK. Here all lines are in now raster condition. Now I want to convert this raster line to a vector line. So let's go to catalog menu, then click on conversion tools. Uh, this is conversion tools, click on from raster, then click on raster to polyline. Okay, input raster as a raster can, then save polyline future to your desired folder as a name of stream order or you can give the name of flow accumulation 500 click on save and click on ok ok raster to polyline has been converted over here and you have seen the flow accumulation 500 has been added in this layer now i am uncheck raster cal and uh, my original dm now you have seen that all stream order has been converted from raster to polyline click any line and so the impression that this is shaped as a polyline okay go to master basin clip and want to clip all streamline in my watershed boundary so go to geo processing tools click on clip then in input feature insert flow accumulation 500 then clip user insert the boundary of raster basin clip this one then save your output feature class as a name of 500 sorry flow evolution 500 clip save 
then click on ok the process is ongoing over here and you have to see that the clip has been completed over here and the, the streamline has been added in the layer now I am unchecking this one flow accumulation 500 ok now I want to clip that DM according to my raster basing clip or other shade area so go to catalog menu then click on data management tools then click on raster click on raster processing then click on clip in input raster insert your original DM then uh, in output extend this is optional in output extend I am inserting here raster basin clip this one okay then check this one use input filter for clipping geometry then save your data set as a name of dm auto shift clip dm auto shift clip save okay basically this name has uh, so large so we have to decrease the size of letter DEM basin C click on save okay then click on okay the process has been completed over here now I am changing the color RAM by clicking here click on here and I am selecting this color and click on okay Okay, this is my watershed generating area that represents the contributing area for a specific control point or water outlet with the intent of characterization and analysis of portion of a study area. Okay friends, thank you for watching today's video. If you like it then just hit the like button and subscribe our channel.